Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 o'clock p.m. Well, it's supposed to be live at 5, but I'm changing that to live at 8 p.m. now. So you guys tune in uh, to Audrey's reading area at 8 o'clock p.m. now, weekdays, Monday through Fridays. And I am a little late, even though it's uh, not even 8, it's after 8. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Um, got a lot going on, so I had to move it to 8. So... Today is fun day Monday. Can you guess? Can you guess? Yes, but first, please click like, please click share, then please go on over to YouTube, Audrey's Reading Area, and smash that subscribe button for me. Tell everybody, tell them to go on, listen to me read, I know you'll like it, then smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. So, hello kitty in the garden. Hello kitty in the garden oh yeah in the garden so let's find out it says uh, Aberdale New York book um, that doesn't say I always try to shout out to the writers of this book and it's not saying let me switch my glasses because if I switch my glasses then I'll if I don't then I'll have to use a magnifying glass right with my eyes so let me put on these glasses to see if I can see who wrote it. It's printed in China. It says Hello Kitty by Sorio. Sanio? Sorio? It's in a, maybe you guys can read it. Read this. Sanrio? Sanrio. By Sanrio. Sanrio.com. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Switch back my glasses now. All right. Thank you again for being here. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, D3, David 3, David the third, and Kaden. Um, hello, kitty. In the garden. In the garden. Let's do this. You guys ready? We're going to just jump right into this book. Every spring, every spring when the days start getting longer and a little bit warmer, Mama, Grandma, and Hello Kitty had a tradition. They started working together in the garden. Hello Kitty knew it was time to start planting seeds when it wasn't dark anymore at dinner time. Every year, sometime in the middle of April, she went down to the basement with Mama to find her big green watering can, gardening gloves, and shovel. Big green watering can, garden gloves, and shovel. <laughs> oh yeah. This year, This year, Hello Kitty, Mama, and Grandma, we're going to plant strawberries, tomatoes, sunflowers, and daffodils. If they had room, they might be able to plant some zucchini too. Zucchini. On the front lawn, they could grow sunflowers. Those didn't take any work at all. You just scattered the seeds around and they sprung up practically on their own. Hello Kitty thought they smelled great. <laughs> smelled great. Hmm. The tomato plants were going to take some extra work. Hello Kitty and Mama made uh, stakes for the tomato vines to wrap themselves around. And these little sticks here are stakes that you put into the ground so when the plant grows it can wrap itself around it and grow but that was a long way off first you had to wait for the seeds to sprout hello kitty wanted to plant lots of beautiful flowers around the garden too on the first day of gardening hello kitty mama and grandma did lots of digging. So they, was dig they were digging in the ground. 
Why do you guys think that they were digging? Yes, so they can plant the seeds. That's what my guess is, let's see. You couldn't be afraid of getting dirty if you wanted to be a gardener. Lots of times you had to kneel down in the dirt. You couldn't be afraid of bugs either. The soil was full of bugs. <laughs> the soil was full of them and some of them helped the plants grow. Some bugs helped the plants grow in case you didn't know. After Hello Kitty planted the strawberry, tomato, sunflower, and daffodil seeds, Mama patted the soil back in place and watered everything with the big green watering can. It was starting to get a little chilly and Mama said it was time to go back inside. Hello Kitty wanted to stay outside to see if anything started growing. Ma Mimi came outside to play. Hello Kitty and Mimi practice. Hello Kitty and Mimi practice swinging the baseball bat. One was the pitcher, the other was the batter. And then they switched. After the game, it was time to go inside for dinner. After dinner, Mama made apple pie for dessert. Apple pie. And then it was time for bed. The next day after school, Hello Kitty raced home to check on her garden. Still nothing. We all know they don't grow that fast, right? It was the same again the next day and the next, just dirt. She dutifully watered her seeds. They got plenty of sunlight too. It didn't appear that anything was sprouting on the ground. One afternoon, one afternoon, Hello Kitty brought coffee grinds out to the garden. They were good for the soil. I didn't even know that. Did you guys know that coffee, gr coffee grinds were good for the soil? Maybe that's why my plants didn't last too long. I'm just saying. Hello Kitty was starting to wonder if anything would ever grow. The next afternoon, Hello Kitty met her friends in the park after school. She forgot to check on the garden. The next day, she went to Jody's house for dinner. Three days in a row, she forgot to check on her garden. She was having fun, huh? Saturday morning, she ran outside as soon as she woke up. <gasps> Look at that. Everything had grown. It turned out that during the days and nights when Hello Kitty didn't think anything was happening in the garden, Lots of things were growing after all. Soon their table would be bursting with juicy strawberries. I love strawberries. And lovely red tomatoes. They would have daffodils and sunflowers to put in vases and give to friends and neighbors. For now, Hello Kitty watered the flowers and vegetables that were starting to grow. This was just the very beginning. It was just the very beginning. The end. Ah, oh, it's just the very beginning and it's the end. The end of the book. Aw. Hello, Kitty. Wow, thank you guys for being here and enjoying me read. Hello, Kitty in the garden fun and exciting book like this. Hello Kitty. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for being here everyone. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for clicking like. Thank you for hitting, clicking share. And thank you, thank you, thank you for going over to YouTube and smashing that subscribe button for me. Smash it up real good. All right, all right, all right you guys. I will see you again tomorrow live at 8. Don't forget L-I-V-E. Live at eight, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Live at eight tomorrow, bro. See you soon. Oh yeah, don't forget, go on over to YouTube. Audrey's reading area.
on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button for me.